It's continuing coverage of Ball State football as the Cardinals continue to roll out their future non-conference opponents. And today we announce the biggest one to date. In 2018, Ball State football heads to South Bend to take on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. It's the first meeting all time between the schools. The Cards just the fourth Mid-American Conference opponent ever to go to Notre Dame Stadium. Although there is some familiarity between the two programs, a little bit. Notre Dame head coach Brian Kelly spent 2004 to 2006 at Central Michigan where he did go 3-0 against Ball State. It's a special opportunity, not just for our football program, but for our entire university. We're talking about one of the most prestigious institutions in the country um, and in our home state of Indiana. So when you combine all those factors and you think about some of the great places that we've been able to go play as a program over the last 25 years, uh, this will be right up at the top in terms of being special. Nine Ball State teams have previously taken on the Irish, most recently last year, both men's and women's tennis, along with softball. Last time the Cardinals beat Notre Dame was in 2005 on the baseball diamond. The team with the best record all time against the Irish, actually the Ball State women's basketball team, three and one against Notre Dame, although those two teams haven't met since the 1981-1982 season. Let's take a look at some of the other games already scheduled, and we'll start with the most recent. Added to this fall's schedule, it's Georgia State. When the University of Alabama Birmingham dropped football following the season, that opened up a spot on, on Georgia State's uh, schedule. I happen to know the AD, who's the former athletic director at Appalachian State, and uh, we were able to put our administrators together and um, work something out so that they would come here this fall when we needed a game and we would open the season down there next year. So that should be a great matchup and obviously Atlanta is a place that we recruit very heavily. So we're excited to have the opportunity to play a team from that area. We go from there to Boca Raton where the Cardinals will travel in 2016 to take on Florida Atlantic. The Owls will return that game here to Muncie in 2019. FAU was a newer program. It was founded in 1998, actually knocked off Central Michigan in the 2008 Motor City Bowl. FAU was an opponent that came to mind. We recruit Florida. Uh, we have a bowl game that uh, in the Mid-American Conference that get, gets played in their, in their stadium and we were able to work out the dates and the years and uh, that should be a great matchup for us. Also in 2016, Ball State will take on Eastern Kentucky, the former stomping grounds of new Cardinals athletic director Mark Sandy. They're an FCS opponent coming here to Muncie, a team that has won two FCS titles in the past, the last in 1982, did make the playoffs last year, losing to Indiana State in the first round. Cardinals are actually 0-3 all-time against the Colonels, but haven't played since the 1970s. Finally, North Carolina State added to the schedule for 2019, the first meeting ever between these two programs. Cardinals did pick up a win the last time they faced an ACC foe. That was at Virginia in 2013. Going back to the state of North Carolina is something that's special to me and other members of our coaching staff because of coming from Elon University four years ago. And we have had numerous players in the program from the state of North Carolina. So when you look at playing some power five type games and laying those out year after year, it's nice to have a game in the state of North Carolina if you're going to recruit the state of North Carolina, which we do. We'll have one more schedule announcement coming up. That is next week. Stay tuned here to Ball State All Access and BallStateSports.com for all the details. In the meantime, here at Schumann Stadium, Joel Godet for BallStateSports.com.